Hi everyone, so I'm going to talk about the latest launch by Shambor and I was so excited when I saw the teaser for the first time. Shambor was posting teasers on Instagram. I mean, and that's where I saw them for the first time. I'm not sure about the other social media platforms. And I was so excited because the liquid lipstick thing is so popular internationally and we in India hardly get any such good product so and I always like Shambor's product the quality of their products is like really good I tried the, their latest uh, the last launch which was like a uh, rosa collection and really like the um, foundation uh, the lipstick the eyeshadow crayon all of them were really good so I was like quite excited about this launch because I love liquid lipsticks but I just cannot afford to buy Anastasia or Colourpop and all those brands because I just do not buy lipsticks without swatching them otherwise I just get terrible shades so yeah that's a different story so I uh, I saw Shambor um, talking about them and uh, they informed all of the readers that those products are only available at lifestyle stores or their standalone stores which was like a bummer because a lifestyle is not available everywhere in fact no, in not in not all the malls around me and uh, but yeah whatever the brand decides I just don't care so and uh, the thing was after hearing mixed reviews of the color bar velvet uh, color bars liquid lipsticks I do not remember their name I mentioned the name here somewhere I was not sure if I should pick more than one shade from this range because I just want to give it a shot first and then pick more shades if I like the product so I picked one shade which is like 404 and I have already reviewed it on the blog and uh, then I decided to pick another shade because I really like the formula, the staying power, consistency, pigmentation, everything about the product is really really good. So first of all I'll just quickly talk about the formula, um, not formula, the packaging. This is how the uh, Shambor Extreme Wear uh, Transfer Proof Liquid Lipstick looks. It has a, like a different packaging but the packaging looks nice and the, these lipsticks are available in 18 shades and these are priced at 845 each and um, and yeah 18 shades is like quite an extensive range but unfortunately the shades look more or less more or less the same they have mauve browns reds there is one pink um, there are like more rust colors so out of 18 shades almost 10 are like in the range of in the sh in the shades of reds oranges maroons berries I don't know I was, I was hoping to look I was hoping to see some nice spring shades like brights bright pink bright purple but yeah whatever brand decides I just have no control over that so I picked this 404 initially and I wore it for like number of times and I loved how long does it, does it stay so the, the, the packaging is fairly simple, it comes with this wand which is like uh, very nice uh, to apply the product. Uh, the liquid lips, this liquid lipstick has, lips, lipstick has a very nice smooth, uh, I will not call it a mousse, uh, it has a liquid uh, formula, liquid texture. I cannot compare it with NYX, uh, what do you call them, soft matte lip creams, no it's not like that. It's, it is a liquid lipstick so it is in a liquid form almost like a gloss form but not that runny whatever so this has a very nice liquid consistency you apply it on you blend it whether you press your lips together or you blend it with your brush it gives you some time to set so it's not like you just have to apply it under the brush no you uh, can apply it you can take your time uh, you have if you want to line your lips you can line your lips after applying it you can just uh, blend the color evenly and it takes like at least one minute to set so you have a lot of time on hand before it sets and once it sets um, it doesn't move for good like six seven hours maybe more than that I have worn it for more than that and it survives meals and uh, yes you can see some fading uh, from the corners after a couple of hours or after you have a meal or something but um, that's not something um, alarming I mean you can understand because this is a lipstick this is not a which has to stay on so the form uh, the formula is really nice it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel overly drying obviously it is a matte lipstick it's a long wearing lipstick it has to be uh, drying otherwise it will not cling on to your lips and it will not stay on so the formula is slightly drying but it's not 
uncomfortably dry. It will not leave your lips parched or will not leave with you a desert mouth. So, yeah. So I really like the formula. I really like how long it stays on me. I really like how it doesn't transfer. It transfers initially for like initial one or two hours. You can see it transferring. If you kiss your, kiss, your um, kiss the back of your hand, you will see it transferring a bit. But I haven't seen it transferring after like two or three hours. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't transfer a transfer on cups or the food you're eating. So I don't think I think it's a really good deal. So I have two shades. One is this 404, and another one is 482, which is like my recent pick. And uh, 404 is a very nice plum shade. You know how I love my plums because plum shade is like my foolproof, failproof shade. It always looks good on my complexion. And this one is 482. This is like a brown shade. I I'm very very scared when I pick browns because that shade doesn't really look good all the time on me but I just bit the bullet and I picked this shade because I was not um, very happy with the rest of the shades for some reasons I don't know but I did not like them much so um, these are the two shades I have I'm going to swatch them for you I just wanted to uh, share my thoughts on this range This is how 404 looks on me and I'm sure you guys also um, think that this shirt is quite flattering and uh, it looks really nice. I'll show you a hand swatch as well. The pigmentation is really there so you just do not really have to layer it up twice, thrice or five times to get the color. You swatch it once and you are good to go. It's more than enough pigmentation is there it's really good so this is 404 it's like a very pretty plummy um, shade it complements my skin tone I am like medium to deep this color suits me really well this is number 482 it's like a warm tone brown and it's a perfect everyday color if you are looking for a shade that you can wear to office this is like a perfect color i'm not much into browns but i when i applied it in the store i thought this color looks really nice even after it sets it sets into a matte finish it still looked really nice so this is more like a matured shade so if you are looking for a shade that you can wear to work or you can wear anytime this is like this is the shade i'll just show you a quick swatch this is 482 and like I mentioned, it's a pretty um, warm tone brown. Mm, and this is how it looks on me. So I really like this shade. So I will give these lipsticks big thumbs up. And um, I will highly recommend them. If you are looking for a good liquid lipstick, you should give these a shot. Pick one shade, try and see how it works, how you like it. If you do not like the kind of uh, matte matte texture, if you already find it too drying, then you can probably skip it. But uh, if you are looking for a good liquid lipstick, I highly recommend these lipsticks, the Chambord Extreme Wear Lipstick. So, this was like my short crisp review of uh, these lipsticks. I only have two shades. Unlike my other reviews, I haven't picked more than two shades, um, but I will surely be adding more. I think I will be adding more. And uh, I hope you guys find this review helpful. And uh, if you like these kind of quick reviews, uh, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're watching me for the first time, please subscribe for more. And uh, I hope you are having a great time, great week. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.